All over the world, universities and research institutes are attempting to devise a universal language in the form of synthetic motion. Motion which does not exist in reality, but which is entirely created through the artificial intelligence of computers. This example, an imaginary monster, which exists only in the computer, was created by the University of Tokyo and produced by the Toyo Lynx Corporation. Research can lead to the practical utilization of new concepts. Graphic computers are used in many areas of human activity. Roby Roncarelli, the Toronto-based editor of Pixel magazine, explains. I think computer animation is really one of the most explosive and exciting mediums we have available to us today. It reaches all corners of the earth. It puts the medium of communication into the hands of the most unlearned person. He doesn't have to be a linguist. He doesn't have to know languages. All that person has to be able to do is sit down and with the aid of a computer, manipulate images that allow him to communicate. It is of great value to the architect to be able to construct a model in the computer and to appraise it in line form. One can make any amendments necessary and try out alternative solutions until it is satisfactory. Such appraisal before building can save millions of dollars. This example shows the Dude Sports Stadium in the States. With new computer technology, architects can create three-dimensional plans and thus solve many problems before they build. Visual appraisal through perspective has become standard practice for architects, draftsmen, and their clients. Evans and Sutherland Computer Corporation in Salt Lake City, Utah, developed a digital computer which allows shapes like this airplane to rotate, change its point of view, zoom in, and alter relationships between its environment and space.
This F-16 aircraft was taken directly from their visual image generator, which makes moving pictures of the kind used for the windows of pilot training simulators. This imaginary process of car manufacture, entirely automated by computer, comes from the Renault factory in France. It shows how computers will determine the shape of the car of the future. The computer can also test and analyze the performance of a car and reveal the function of parts which are normally invisible. The principle of x-rays to examine the internal structure of the body is well known. With the introduction of computer tomography, a much higher dynamic range can be analyzed with a display of linear scale. These methods of computer tomography are being expanded to nuclear medicine and ultrasound scanners.